Hi, I'm doing my video or my persuasive speech on uh, research beagles used for research in the large companies that are cosmetic companies. Um, the companies that use we use everyday things. Um, I'll give you a few examples as I go on. Um, the reason I'm so passionate about this is because, for one, I own a beagle and have owned beagles in my past. Um, they're the most friendliest, docile loving, people-pleasing pleasing animals I've ever owned. And when I found out they were using them as for research because of their wonderful nature and that these big um, testing companies use them for because they can get them from the puppy mills and also breeders at a very, very cheap cost and also to house them and feed them is very cheap also. So that's why they use them. And I understand that I know if they would have to use them on people. In my perspective, though, um, because they use them on animals, um, they should use them on our um, prison facility, especially ones that are doing life for murder. Um, why don't they use them instead of our use animals that are so innocent and so sweet and don't deserve it? Um, here's a list that I'll give you of the companies that use them. I'm sorry, I have to look away just to look at the different products because there are so many that test on animals. Um, I have found that Arm & Hammer, which is a carpet cleaning spray, uh, Crest Toothpaste, shocker, um, Fantastic, Febreze, Glad Bags, don't understand why they need to dust them, um, the Glade plugins, since Head and Shoulders shampoos, Kleenex, Lysol, Mac Cosmetics, which is your Estee Lauder products, Mr. Clean, Sally Hansen, Shout, Swab, and Vicks, just to name a few. Um, they still do this use these beagles as testing, to my knowledge. Um, I will give you a few examples of people that do use them. Our wonderful Ohio State, Ohio State University Research Department, um, the president of that is George Billiman. He f uh, forced surgically manipulated dogs to run on treadmills until they collapsed from a heart attack. The dogs were killed and the damage to their heart tissue was studied. I understand that we have to see what kind of thing happens once they're tested um, in, you know, if a human heart. But dogs have a different heart than a human does. I mean, it's similar, but still, why do you have to use these animals for that? Also, um, another study was a violent experiment at the University of Pennsylvania. Um, puppies were bred to have degenerative eye disease that um, culminated in blindness. During the study, the three-week-old pup beagles had their eyes cut out and killed so they could be studied. And another example is a popular company called um, McNo Mc sorry, McNeil Laboratories. It's a subsidiary of Johnson & Johnson. It's also called Splenda, if you're familiar. 32 beagles were fed Circlos, which is your Splenda, on their feed and over a 52 week um, test they were kept in cages and their blood and urine was drawn to see what the effects were and then shortly they were their throats were slit and um, just so they could see and test their organs to see what kind of um, lasting effect it would have on them um, and these are just some of the the really harsh things that they did to these animals that they didn't deserve um, it's just heartbreaking to find this out. Um, I have, I don't have very many visual aids. I do have a PowerPoint on my laptop I want to show you. It's just a couple pictures of these beagles as they come in um, um, to the facility. So I will show you. Um, here is one. Um, the beagle 